Ruby Ruby Doo! Hey guys, this is my review for the 16th episode of Supernatural Season 13. The episode that everyone had been waiting for for this season because it was a Scooby-Doo episode. And least to say, it doesn't disappoint. It is both creative in its concept, it's also a good homage to the old show. It points out the inaccuracies or the inconsistencies of the show while also talking about what made the original Scooby-Doo show so great. I remember watching reruns of the old 70s run of it on Teletoon when I was a kid. And admittedly, even as a kid, I could realize that every episode had a similar formula. But I still enjoyed it, I still enjoyed the music, and I enjoyed the theme song, which is what they use. They use an older version of the theme song. I don't think they use the original one, but they do use an older version. Admittedly, as the years went by in Scooby-Doo, which somehow is still sort of on the air, has changed over time and at one point they had Simple Plan do their theme song. But as for the episode itself, admittedly it starts right off the bat with something incredibly stupid. They're fighting a giant stuffed dinosaur costume thing. They blow it up and it turns out that the TV they bring back from this pawn shop where they destroy this dinosaur is haunted. The TV then sucks them into an episode of Scooby-Doo where Dean is super excited as he is able to try and go after Daphne whereas Sam is trying to figure out what's going on. But they're able to pull in all these really cool elements. Castiel is later sucked into the episode as well. And whereas we see the familiar humor with Scooby-Doo as well as the familiar humor with Supernatural, they blend the two and the show actually becomes quite mature in a, in a sense, in the last 10-12 minutes where they break the world of the Scooby Gang and they're all like toting shotguns and everything. I did enjoy the episode, however the ending was a little bit of a turn. It wasn't at what we expected. It was just, just a simple ghost story with a tragic uh, backstory to it, which admittedly was cool. The pawn shop part was, eh, the ending was kind of not that interesting in terms of just the villain. The villain guy who they chose is literally the most evil, ugly looking ba background extra you could ever choose. So that was something that they did throughout the episode too. At one point they pointed at a guy, Dean pointed at this dude at the meeting at the beginning where they're finding out about the will for the house that Scooby's inherited. He's like, yeah, that's the bad guy at the end of the episode. Or like other parts when they're in the library and there's only one book that's colored that's it's distinctly colored and he says it's the only one that doesn't it isn't painted into the background of the cartoon I mean the library. I like that it pointed out these things. There's a lot of meta jokes about Scooby-Doo and there's a few about Supernatural too. More so the show of Scooby-Doo. But either way I did enjoy it and I liked how silly the ending was. Dean is wearing an ascot for no apparent reason. It does not look good on him but he's wearing it either way and then he does the <laughs> the Scooby Dooby Doo at the camera. And admittedly, that must have taken a few takes because that would have been so stupid to have done. But it was really funny. Either way, I feel the Scooby Doo episode wasn't just a knockoff or it wasn't just a cry for help to get more fans back into the show. It actually was a well-crafted episode. And admittedly, the animation is actually pretty good considering it goes longer than the norm of a 22-minute episode of a cartoon show. It goes a little bit longer. The animation is a little choppy at times. The movements aren't as fluid as you would want, but again, this is a TV show budget trying to make a cartoon. <laughs> so you gotta give them that. Otherwise, I still feel that everything was pretty good considering the limitations of what they could have done, and it's not a half-assed episode. It's a very well done, drawn episode. The characters are very well done. The, the voice acting of the original Scooby Dang is pretty good too. So in the end, I enjoyed this episode. I think it's definitely going to stand as one of the good just random one-off episodes like the fan fiction episode or the episode where they go off to find out about the Supernatural book fan club. But in the end, it's still just a Monster of the Week episode, so it's not super pivotal towards the season, but it was a fun time, and it is a funny time. So in the end, I'm going to give the Scooby-Doo episode a 5 out of 7. I thought it was fun. I thought it was cool. It was a fun time. It's not going to stand out despite the fact of what happened, but I'm glad that they tried something different, even if it was really the same in terms of its story creation. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. If you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, that's all from me. 
I'll see y'all next time.